Hi, Steve. How you been? Okay. Cup of coffee? Great. Social visit? Tea for two? Not exactly. This is a well-planned meeting between two acquainted agents, courier and cutout. The place, a censored town in enemy area. The purpose, a special operation. I see where the football team has a new goalie. That ought to make all the difference next Saturday. Yeah, well, I'll still put my... The meeting is casual. The conversation is innocent, for the walls of enemy area have ears. It isn't all small talk. When cover for the visit has been established, the work begins. Work which will soon end in a special operation in the capital of enemy area, 90 miles away. The musical accompaniment will jam any dictaphones the enemy may have planted. Steve will carry the plan for that operation, those 90 miles. Steve, the traveling salesman for a collaborationist sales firm. The courier with a perfect cover for a trip to the capital. Microfilm, under a phony callus. Okay, Steve, that does it. Now put this on, you're all set. That's quite a belt, Steve. With it, you can hold up your pants and enemy aircraft production at the same time. <laughs> a piece of film with a plan. A belt with a coded message. A courier with cover, confidence, courage. You're a cinch, Steve. Well, you sure understand everything now. It's in the bag. Well, so long, good luck to you. See you on the way back. he brought along a pistol to get him out of a jam. Instead, it got him into one. It happened this way. Steve was feeling romantic when he left Frank's. And he had a date. There was an embrace, and the girl's hand accidentally touched a pistol that Steve carried in the small of his back. Now, the small of the back may be a good place to hide a pistol, but not in a tight squeeze. Yes, Steve had a date with a girl. Now he's got a date with the secret police. Well, Steve, this is it. This is where Frank's handiwork gets the acid test. All right, strip. Quickly, please. Got a light? No smoking. Pick that cigarette up. Now give it to me. Don't try that again. You're not the first who's tried to burn a message in a cigarette. Now get your clothes off. 
If you could only get out of this room for a minute, Steve. One minute to rip off that phony callus and destroy the belt. One minute, maybe two. That's all you'd need. Try and think of something, Steve. Say, do you mind if I go to the toilet before we get on with this? The president will be granted no requests until after the search. Tough luck. But you see, the enemy knows the more important a piece of evidence is to you, the more important it is to them. And they don't want that evidence flushed down a toilet. Still think you have a chance, Steve? Yeah, I still have a chance. Frank did a good job. Poor Steve, you're in for a blow. You're going to find that in enemy area, when a man's under definite suspicion, searches are thorough and complete. And when a man tips his hand as you did, carrying a concealed weapon, they become bloodless autopsies. Enough. They begin at the top of your head. It's no exaggeration to say not a hair is left unturned. Sit down. They probe your nose. They pry into your ears. Your mouth gets special attention. Good investigators know that teeth make good hiding places, and they're as efficient as a dentist tailing a cavity. Later, if they're still suspecting, they may remove your fillings and bridge work. To you, your eyes are a priceless possession. To the investigator, they're nothing more than highly suspect areas for hidden messages. Your entire body is scrutinized, inch by inch. Fingernails. Skin. Navel. Above all, the private parts are carefully inspected. That's all. Put on the towel. Getting warm, Steve. Our friend here seems a little perturbed about his feet. It might be wise to show as much concern for this region 
as he shows by so nervously biting his lip. Well, Steve, if you'll pardon a cruel joke, you really put your foot in it that time. You should have known that if you don't watch your reactions, the enemy will. An attitude consistent with your cover, indignation, resigned dignity, or willing collaboration might have saved you. But here you are, a courier already out of a job, and the clothes search just beginning. When it comes to clothes and personal effects, Investigators take nothing for granted. They begin on the premise that every item contains a message and carry on from there. They begin at the top, Steve, and work down. Or are you familiar with that procedure by now? Sweat bands, hat bands, linings are studied and ripped out if necessary. A coat gets a going over that would make its tailor squirm. The lining. Shoulder padding, seams and pockets are checked and double checked. Labels come off. Buttons are examined. Shirts and underwear get the ultraviolet ray treatment for invisible laundry marks. Sewing is checked against the possibility of writing coded messages on thread. Shoes are potential gold mines of evidence. Gold mines soon essayed. The space between the sole, the hollows of the heels, the canvas lining under the tongue, and the shoelace tips are all searched. Yes, Steve, the places for concealment were infinite. But the investigators were infinitely patient. And how about your effect, Steve? Will they stand up as well as your clothes? Again, each article is considered suspicious until its innocence has been proved. When the naked eye fails, magnifying glasses and microscopes take over, searching for pinpricks and markings containing coded messages. No area is too small or too insignificant for the investigator's attention. Money is carefully inventoried, and a note is made on the denomination, date, type, and serial number of the bills. Your number is up today, Steve. Thanks to this detail, Frank's may be up tomorrow. Bills are then soaked in boiling water to separate the layers and expose possible hidden information. When the mind suspects, chemicals can prove or disprove. Papers get the iodine fumes test for secret ink. Before the search is over, everything, including your body, may get the same treatment. We're going to leave you for a while. If you get cold, put these on.
Orderly. Yes, sir. Has the dossier on the prisoner been assembled yet? Yes, sir. Good. Be careful to record all of his actions during this period. Yes, sir. We have a complete transcript of the prisoner's actions since he entered the room. I want all of those items thoroughly checked and special attention given that belt. Very good, sir. Lieutenant. Splendid. I knew we'd find something. Good work, Franz. So you thought it was easy carrying a message, hey, Steve? Not with this enemy. It takes more than courage and confidence to operate in enemy area. It takes cover. Cover which you blew by your conspicuousness. Order Bring the prisoner to the interrogation room. Instead of hopelessly walking toward the interrogation room, you could be walking the streets in freedom, walking to your destination and accomplishing our mission, walking ahead of the enemy, not into him. <laughs>